Welcome to the channel, my name's Rob, and in today's video we have my wife Charlie. And we're not going to be saying Polish place names, Charlie is. Now I have got Polish place names for beginners, so that is my guide. Most of them I would like to think I sort of know. Charlie, you have got the 15 biggest cities and towns in Poland. Okay. Your job is to pronounce them, and we'll see how close you get. So. Number one. Warsaw. Warsaw. Now this is, that you've got that correct, right? Warsaw, the capital of Poland. However, if the rule is that a W is pronounced as a V, why is it not Warsaw? I don't know, you'll have to want, that one was an easy one to start off with, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. Krakow. Krakow. Now, or Krakow. So, this is another debate. So I think the English way of pronouncing it is Krakow. However, I would say Krakow, mm -hmm. but actually Krakow has uh, the, the italic, is that what you call it? I don't know what that anyway, is. Anyway, it's got- The it's, thing above the O. Yeah, so I think it might actually be Krakow. Krakow, I think you extend the O, Krakow. Um, but once again, a pretty good start. Pretty good start, but this is hopefully where you stumble. Stumble and fall. Number three. Lods. Lods. <laughs> Lods. I can tell you, no. Now, uh, this is what... Ludes? No, not ludes either. <laughs> now, I would like Polish people watching this to appreciate how we see the, the, the words. Now, you say lods because you instinctively see the letter L. Yep. But it's not a letter L. It has a line through it. What does that mean? So that is more of a W. So it's wads. <laughs> sort of. Uh, so you want to pronounce it wodge. 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 Um, so a Z obviously must be more of a J than a Z. Wodge. Because the Z obviously has the... Uh, the accent above as well. I, I don't know, I can't remember what the proper name is for them. So, um, yeah, you are wrong. You got the first two spot on, pretty much. Third one, Wodge. Wodge. But it doesn't look like Wodge to us, does it? You would no. never think that but was Wodge. Now I'm wodge. looking at the next one, it's got the thing over the L, but I still don't know how I'm no, going to pronounce that, it. I, okay, right. Because I would say that's Roclaw, but I don't think it is. <laughs> so number four, four. Uh, so you think it is, Roclaw? Roclaw. That's how I would read it. Rotswav. Rotswav. No, wouldn't it? No? So, it's very tricky, isn't it? Because where is the S? There's no S in that either, is there? No. But you would pronounce that, and, and I'm going by, by this. Um, rote suave. Rots, rotswav, rotswav, rotswav. Rotswav. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it, does it? No. Because you would pronounce that roclaw. But you've got to, I said, what letters look like they are to us, they actually aren't those letters. For example, the, the L, we think is an L for watch, is not. A, no, a, a, but it's a, not an L because it's got a thing through, but <laughs> I wouldn't know what else to pronounce it as. No. So, no, you are wrong. It is rotswav. Okay. okay. This one, number five, you should get this one, surely. It'll be close to it. Poznan? Okay. Poznan? Yeah, that, okay, so according I'm to the... I'm trying to learn what the thing... So, yes, yeah, so according to the beginner's guide, uh, it's more of a Poznan. So, okay. Poznan. Poznan? Yeah, but I think we would always pronounce it Poznan. Yeah, but because, it does have a thing over the end. Yeah, maybe that's why you, you it wouldn't be Poznan, but it's uh, it, apparently Poznan. So okay. I think that one's pretty close. Gdansk? Number six, Gdansk. Uh, yeah, good. I've been Dansk. there, so I should know how to pronounce that. Dance. But it's 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 dance. It's not so on here. It's good dance K, but. We would pronounce, we would say dance, yeah. whereas maybe if you're up north in England, you would say dance. dance. 
Yeah, so then it would be good dance. So technically we say dance. The and issue they say, is the southern accent isn't helping us here, no, I don't so think. We've, it's, too, it's too posh for some of these. Uh, you've been there. If you want yes. to check it out, check out the vlog on really Charlie, nice Christmas market. Charlie and Rob. Or you can go to charlieandrob.com, which is our website. And you can see those videos of when we went to Gdansk and when we went to Krakow. <laughs> like that? I did like yeah. that. Um, okay, so that was number six. Number seven, which I think you may struggle with as well. Sheshin. Ooh, you've done quite well there. I'm trying to remember where it is now. Um, yeah, so an S and a Z is a shh sound. Well, I went with because it had two Zs. I was like, Sheshin. So on here, it would be Shed Chin. So Shed Chin. So I'm close. I think you're pretty... I think if I said that, people would know what I meant. Considering you didn't know the SZ is a shh sound, uh, I think that's pretty good. She's done better than me already for some of it. So, yeah. Have Shed you already Shen. done this? Well, I've learned as I've been watching videos. Okay. Um, so, for example, with the... Um, the watch, for example, I, I've Wodge. already watched watch. I've already seen Wodge. a video. Uh, Rotswav, I've already learned about that because in Rotswav, they've got loads and loads of little dwarf statues all around the city. Oh, it's quite cool. That's quite interesting, actually. Exactly. And all the, all the dwarfs, they have um, different aspects to them. So, Is for it example, like a trail of them you can follow to see all of them? Yeah, but there's hundreds. But all of them... So it's not like a... It could take you a couple of hours to think. No, probably longer than that. But they've oh. all got special jobs that relate to where they are. Oh, that's quite on, cool. In the, I like in the that. Right, okay. Number eight. Number eight. Well... Remember what the S it's said It's going to be like shh at the end, but yeah. I don't know how to pronounce the first bit. Because I would go by... Re Dosha. You're not far. This says big gosh. Big gosh. Big gosh. Yeah. So it's so you could so you could pronounce the, G the Y. Out, really. You you could no. add the D out. No, no. You would just um the uh, the the Y would be more like an I. So big big gosh. I, I according to this, if this is wrong, I'm so sorry. This is from a Polish thing. So uh, so big gosh. I don't know even know where it is. I have oh. no idea where Bidgosh is. Well, you know, on your map. You Hang saw on. it on your map. Number somewhere. eight. It is sort of central up to the left slightly. Below Gdansk. Don't peek. Next. Number nine. Well, I would read it Lublin, but it's not Lublin. It's not far off. It's not Lublin? far off. Lublin? Yeah, I think it's Lublin? more... It's more... Lublin? Lub. Lublin. 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 Uh, yeah, so Lub. Because it's just Dublin with an L, let's be honest, for us. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's but not like that. Loop, more like a lube. Lublin. Well, no, pretty good. You, that, that, I think that one's quite a simple one. Okay, this one looks tricky. Uh, number 10. Number 10. I've got to find where it is. Biavstok? I'm just trying to find where it is on my... Oh, okay. What did you say? Biavstok. You said Biavstok. Where's the V? Because the L... Of that was a W a V, so, so I went with a V. So you're saying Biavstok? Yeah. Okay. According to uh, the Poland for beginners, B A Listok. B A Listok. B A Listok. B A Listok. But, but that doesn't make I'm sense. I'm confused because the L up there was a V, so I went with a V. I was, was learning was my little wuh. well a W. But surely then that should be. Biavistok. Biawistok. Biawistok. Surely that should be Biawistok. I would really like to learn Polish, but this is a but lot But this, to learn. if we can, if you can see, if it focuses, that is how it says it. So that has it as a B A or B A list stalk. B A list stalk. But surely that should be a W. That should be a B A Hmm, I would say so. In the comments, sort us out. Okay, number 11. You Katowice. should know. You're saying Katowice. I think it's more, the C is more of a T. So it's Kat of Vitz. Katowice? Katowice. Rather than a Katowice, like a curly K. 
curly C E. Uh, it's more of a wits. So Katowitz. 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 Yeah. So, but I think you're focusing on the end. It's not a. So we thought it was a Katowitz, but I think it's a Katowitz. Not you're not necessarily focused on the E. Whereas when we went, we landed last time we went to Krakow, we went to. You didn't do your Krakow. With Krakow. Your... Yeah. Um, <laughs> we flew to Katowice, um, and some. I'm sure someone said it's Katowice. Yeah, well, didn't we ask someone? I'm sure we asked someone. I think so, but on here it's Katowice. Okay. Number twelve. Number twelve. Got to find where it is. Well, it's like Gdansk, but it's not like like the beginning bit. Oh yeah, this one I haven't got the map. Gdynia. I think it's Gdynia. I haven't actually got this on the map. It's literally just above Gdansk. Oh. Um, but I'm pretty sure. I do think actually I saw a sign for it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Gdynia. Gdynia. I think so. That was fine. I can read that, that one. That one's easy. Okay, we've got one, two, three more to go. Uh, so number thirteen. Um. Sheshova. It's not bad. That's not bad. And um, close. So I've got on here the two words, chest, Jehovah, like Jehovah Witness. So if you merge it together, chest, Jehovah. Is that what you said? Close enough. I think that's... I, I think, still think I, no, people said, would be... Able, so you said chesh. So actually, I think you're probably... Well, is it chesh or is it shesh? Shesh, Jehovah. But shouldn't it be chest, no, but then I'm putting too much of an English accent, because I, think. I but, but that's a C-Z rather than an S-Z. So I think that is a chest Yeah, but I went with it being up here, C-Z, in Sheshin, which I don't I, know. I, is, that, okay. is Sheshin actually called I, that? What was Sheshin? Uh, Sheshin was Shedshin. Shedshin. I think that is more of a ch, because it is a C-Z, which is more of a ch sound, I think. So I think if, if, if this is right, chest Jehovah. Okay. But you're pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. I think that. you've done that quite well. You're learning better than me. Number 14. Radom. You're saying Radom. It's like random, but with no end. You're saying Radom. Uh, on here, it says Red Dome. So Redome. Oh, I'm quite close. -ish. Red Redome. That's what Redome. it's saying, because it's saying Dome, as in D-O-M-E, which makes it a dome. If it didn't and have like the And like a red dome, like colour red dome. Yeah, if it didn't have the E, uh, if it didn't have the E on there, and it would be Redom, but it's got Dome, so Redome. That's that's what the Poland for Beginners says. So, uh, you said Radom, right? Yeah, I went with But I think it's more of a, a, I think it's it's more of a less pronounced A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not an, an A. It's an E instead of yeah. A. Okay, last one. Are you ready? Uh, Sosnoviec? No. Oh. Apparently not. So this one, it wasn't on the map and I've had to get it from Google Translate. And I've actually got the actual breakdown. So, snow, vits. So, so snow, vits. Oh. I don't Sometimes think it would a be C. the same because yeah. they're the I know. different way around. Sometimes a C. From sounds Katowice like a, and sometimes a C apparently the e sounds and the like C a T. The wrong way round, so I assumed it would be different. Well, according to Google for that last one, Sosnovitz. Can I look at the map now? Yeah, have a look. For this is a extra bit. Look at some of the funny ones. They do have a hell. One of them is called Astrowanka. <laughs> Astrowanka. There you go, Astrowanka. Um, the issue is, when I do it with an English accent, it probably sounds nothing like what it I is. I know. Uh, you've got Swoopask, Sopot. To Chew. Uh, less Known. Torek. Lubin. What? Who did Lubin? No. Lube, Lublin, Lublin. There is a Lu Bin. L-O-O-B-I-N. That's not how it's pronounced. There's a Benjin. Benjin. There's a Horju. Josh Show. Wants it. I actually, this is very good for teaching English people I how think to say so. things. Uh, but I still don't think our pronunciation is going to be a good No, at all. this isn't, this, apparently this isn't 100%, but it's pretty good. I hope Leg, if I was saying some of these places from this, people would be able to work out where I meant. Uh, Stargard. Because like the ones we know, like Gdansk, actually you can get that from that. 
it's close enough. Yeah. Um, any other funny ones from here? Uh, novice inch. Novice inch. Sucker panel. Sucker panel. Pa panel? Sucker panel? Well, it's panel, but... Oozy, tricky, dull nay. Oozy, tricky, mm. dull nail. Dull nay. Is there a place actually called medical? Is... Medical? Medical? I don't know. Uh, what else? Ricky? Scar Juice Coke. Amy Anna. Beer Poodle Ask Her. Beer Poodle Ask Her. Well, oh, I don't know how accurate this is. Beer Poodle Ask Her. Hang on, I'm going to look on here if it's on here. There you go. So that is, I'm going to put it on the screen now. Uh, look at that. Beer Poodle Ask Her. Okay, Beer Poodle, Poodle Ask Her. Um, Connian, what's... <laughs> What's with Aki? Or Achi? What's with Achi? Coop now. To Torun. Groove Johns. Groove Johns. <laughs> so, well, there we go. I actually, I yeah, hope I didn't do too badly. Like what Charlie just said, I think this map actually, when you look at it compared to the actual map, you can figure it out. Mm -hmm. Right? And you can you can get how the words are pronounced. And th th there's little things. So for example, knowing that an SZ is a sh sound, um, knowing that uh, what we see as an L with a line in is a W sound. And that's wads, yeah? Uh, wodge. 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 Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna try and remember. I pr we would both actually really like to learn Polish. Yeah, but it's not easy. No, it's not no. easy. We, I've, both, I've tried the app on my phone. I think you've tried as well, and we're not getting anywhere. No. Maybe we need to be in conversation with Polish but people more. But especially for me, who's learning about it, we're picking up um, certain aspects of the language and he does to, at practice. Least, to at least pronounce words. Not necessarily know what they mean, but to be able to pronounce them uh, is a start. You well, did there practice you go. in the Polish supermarket the other day, then. Every time I go to the Polish supermarket and I say, what do I say? Um, I say hello, but obviously I say the Czech or I say um, Dzień Dobry. They always think I'm Polish. And then and they then, start talking and then he's like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm English. I'm sorry, I don't know what well, you're saying. Well, thank you so much for joining us. How did Charlie do? How good were the, was the Polish for beginners um, map? let me know. Um, if you want to check out our series where we went to Gdansk for Charlie did, she went for the Christmas market, or when we went to Krakow uh, recently, then check out our vlog channel, Charlie and Rob, and like, subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye.